team first of all. So we're just coming out of the petrol station here. You can see a lot of roadworks here. Resting, um, just resting with a handbrake at the moment, but I'm leaving this one in gear, ready to go. But be mindful of the cars opposite there as well. So I'm gonna give a signal, let them know which direction I'm intending to go. Scan round, you see what I mean by that one. He's right in the blind spot there, actually. We can take the gap there, quite happy with that. But yeah, completely. Um, once I got to that position, he was in the A frame of the vehicle. You can see him come across the road from that point. Okay, so we're more than likely going to use the fourth gear slightly earlier now, so because of the routine style of driving, which we're doing at the moment, and then watching the black one there, traffic system. On green but could change so mirrors at the moment the car's completely respect behind just coming off the drive covering the brake here slightly losing a little bit of speed scanning junctions for any other blue light drivers we've got a roundabout coming up as well advanced warming for a roundabout so again just um Reducing the speed, looking for the gap in the flow of traffic near side position. So, in system, we're using position, speed, gear, acceleration. So, speed's correct. And then we're going to make sure we don't take the gear too early because that's the situation that can happen. So, at that point, when I said speed is correct, <laughs> the car appeared. Better signal for the cars behind, to know where I'm going. So, be a short short uh, routine because there's a lot of stuff down here that could be really useful now on blue lights so once I get through this roundabout we'll activate the 999 so I'm going to give a signal it's on the green it could change you just don't want to be um, breaking at the last minute there the car behind has followed me through there as well just hello to the ambulance over there right we're going on uh, 999 checking the mirrors Lights have activated onto the tiles and having a look at the situation in front. So it's a green light, traffic's moving, there's a red light there after, with some pedestrians near it. Checking near side mirror here, changing the tiles. So we know it's on green, I'm changing the tiles. Watching those pedestrians actually going to move away from them. Look at the white truck coming up the near side here, it's actually not. So he was actually going to overtake them on the near side at that point. So this is why we've got to be so careful. People do the most unexpected thing. Let's turn the tones off a second and let's see what happens. So we don't want to push anyone through that major junction down there. I can't go down the near side. I do know the road here. So what I'm going to do is hold my position here. I don't want to make them feel that I want them to go through the red light. So I've got the blues on. The lights have changed, so I'm actually now checking both mirrors. I'm really looking for cyclists coming down here. Tones on again. Just, again, walking through the gaps. The smaller the gap, slower the speed. Position for safety here. Take the central position away from traffic on both sides, in case of blue. Again, scanning for another blue light vehicle coming through. Got reactions on silver and blue, and black in front, braking and moving in. So we've got two forms of reaction on that one as well. So mirrors and into the hatch marking area. Got to maintain care going through the hatch markers because they do get a bit slippery sometimes as well. Plus they get a lot of um, dirt pushed into them. So staying in the middle position here, P4. Again, just being aware that this car doesn't actually know I'm there. There he goes, there's his reaction. Took a little bit of time. Now we're watching the silver, there's the reaction. Coming over the brow of the hill, making sure it's safe. There is isn't. around we go. Change of tones and long tones. Long tones stretch out, so they were here, those further away. And it's starting to look at moving into the middle of the road again, mirrors. No one overtaking, shoulder checking out nice and early. So I'm going towards the white car, but I have no reaction on this fan at the moment on a flying road. Let's change the tone. Okay. Celia, do you think he knows I'm there? I don't think he does. I don't think he does, does he? he okay. So we need two forms of reaction there because we can't overtake him. There he goes. Yeah. Do you notice that? Yeah. Change of tone's coming through the lights here. It's on green. Near side check there as well, just in case of another blue light vehicle. 
back on the tyres again. So we've got the two cars in front of catching there. It's got brake lights and moving into the junction. Okay, we've got the petrol station change the tyres for anyone coming out of the station there. Catching the white one now. So he's quite above the speed limit. We're using out nice and early. There's brake lights, there's positional change. We've got pedestrian in the road. So kind of accelerate here. He's actually run out of the way now. Change the tone through here. Change the tone through the hazard there as well. Not coming back in again at the moment. We're going to try and maintain this position because it's giving me good view up there. Now I'm kind of forced over because of the island. We keep left there and they've got a red light. So mirrors. Position away from danger. So I'm going to go to the near side. Short tones through here. Now. Don't want to come in too fast here because people will run into the back of each other. He's come out. And the thing is, you either come in too slow and they go, or you come in too fast and they go. So you, it's, it's just getting that the exact speed, really. So in this bit, I'm going into the middle position. I'm in the red light. So I've got reaction on the blue one there. Happy with that. Change the gear at that point. Once I can see it safe. Blue's moving over in the middle. He's maybe turning and might just get out of the way. He's actually turning. Whereas back on the drive. So I've got a slightly faster road now. Traffic signals ahead again, let's just change the tones. And always assume it's a red light, we've got cure traffic. It is on green, but let's watch and see where the pathway opens. So it looks, we going to change the tones here again, watching for the other emergency response vehicles. Through both junctions, mirrors, I can go out here, got nice clear vision through here, so these two have pulled over nicely. Side road on the left, on the right, sorry, on the offside. Road works, 40 mile now, speaking there, braking on the lorry. So just hold it back a touch. The reason it's braking is not for me, it's because of the uh, AA here. Okay, so we'll be ever so careful here because that corner. So I'm going to come round here a little bit of caution. So I'm not going to go kind of flying around that bend. You can see how that could go quite badly wrong. So take the left of the lights here. Second, we've got green lights on. I've got the tones on here. The speed is okay, the gear is matched through there. I'll take any position really, there's nothing behind. Half the least resistance. Coming to quite a fast moving road here, so I don't want to approach this too fast. I'm actually going to go. So, watching both sides of the road here, good clear vision on the right. Coming across here. Again, got the actions on both those cars and back on the drive. So again, we've got no right to pull in front of them unless they're giving way to you. Um, and sometimes you've got to really make sure they're giving way. I've actually turned the tones off here because there's nothing in front at the moment, 50 mile an hour speed limit. Using the gears a little bit longer to stretch the speed out now. And uh, the road's bending around to the left. And if you come across another hazard, we'll change the tones again. Just checking the mirrors, it's nice and safe behind, no stopping clear way, which of course we've got an exemption for. We can look at the angle of the uh, trees here as we go around the bend into a roundabout. Traffic signals ahead. So as we get nearer to that, we'll put the tones on again and look at our options. We're taking exit two of two. So tones on, it's a red light. So I'm thinking about position here for safety. I'm gonna go away from the traffic on the offside. That's the danger point there. So I've got two brakes there, nothing following round. I'm gonna actually take the third gear through this one. Coming into the offside again here, just to get into the, 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 the white van there, that even though I'm there, signaling in my intention. And we're taking exit two of three. So we're looking at the lane of least resistance, got traffic signals. So I'm gonna move into the near side here and have a look at what happens as we come in. At the moment, the lights are probably on green because the traffic stopped there. Changing the tones through here. And across here, again, don't want to push anyone into something they don't want to do. Just making my way through the easiest way I can see into the offside lane. And he's actually pulled in there. And we've got a nice lane clear. 
So again, using a bit more of the power of the engine to get the speed up into a red light. So first option here, it's gone green, so I'm gonna leave the tones on. One of the best things to do though, when you're coming into a red light, is just take your fourth accelerator, give yourself a moment, see what's happening. Little change of tones through here. Scan both ways through the junction. Loose hold you nicely, watching the white lorry, the yellow lorry. Man, the lorry's looking like it's trying to move out there. It's just quiet. So whether we knew I was there or not, started, the wheel starting to change direction a bit, went to the line. Coming into a roundabout game, always coming into hazard slow, so we're going to kill the speed here. So we're not coming in fast and forcing people to suddenly stop. Especially if they're already on the roundabout, it looks clear. Again, we'll take the second gear option here. Again, eyes up as soon as we get into the new road looking for hazards. Pedestrian crossing's clear, 50 mile an hour speed limit. And just turning the tones off a second now, we're in the dual carriageway. Again, maxing out the uh, gear. And we'll put the tones on for this one. Just to let him know I'm there, side road. Keeping an offside lane here is the best lane, and you've got a deflection arrow. Maximum speed, and we've got dual carriageway ends, so it's going to come into a uh, single carriageway. And now we're looking at getting past this vehicle safely. There's brakes, there's position. So I'm going to be looking at the pathway through here, which is the middle. I'm just moving over a little bit. So he knows I'm there, I'll be listed brakes, but at that point it wasn't safe for me to go. And again, we've got to be ever so careful on the corners there. Watching that road ahead, it's clear. Watching the junction. Near side check. Coming back in. I feel the wheels go a little bit on the line. Yeah. Okay, like I said earlier, if you go in the hatch markings, they can be a little bit slippery and a bit bumpy. So now we're catching the next two vehicles up as well. And again, what we're going to do is just come in and try to get into their mirrors without any drama really so we've got a positional change on the blue one at the moment but it doesn't mean anything let's change the tone so we're looking for the, them both to, to just move over to the near side so we've got a signal both of them have made the way through and I'll be going through around about green light is pedestrian crossing there let's change the tones for this one white one's holding nicely watching the motorbike we'll take the gear at that point there a wheel straight line through, so signal my intention. Again, we don't want to be ragged around these corners because of the patient comfort value in there. Time's off for a second. There's a countdown markers for the next hazard. So we're going out nice and early for position. Might not necessarily be the lane we're going to use. Tones back on again. We'll probably go back into the near side lane if the van goes, which he has. This gives me the straight option, the smooth option. Take second for the acceleration there. Maintain acceleration. Mirrors are signaling my intention for the traffic approaching. A straight line through the lanes here. So mirrors, shoulder out. Maximising the gear again, changing the tones to come into the head. It's quite clear he's seen me. Not much I need to do there. Thank you. Very much two way traffic, single carriageway. Hope we've got a bit of rain coming in now as well. This way, mate slightly slippery so we will change our driving to road to traffic conditions just because we're on the blue light drive doesn't mean to say that we can uh, start fooling around with the uh, physics of the road if it gets wet if it gets slippery so we get the tones on uh, wipers on back here a little bit because at the moment there isn't a way through so I don't want to force anyone to do anything I don't want so I'm just going across to P4. Rainey's actually Emery now, back in again. Just have a look. Always when we go into these positions we've always got to have enough space to get back out again. I can't see around the corner so I'm sort of on his shoulder sort of thing position wise so he knows I'm there. There's quite a lot of braking going on should be holding for me there, which is making sure it's 
here on my offside, it is, into gear. Moving through, considering my attention there for the ones behind. Traffic system there, it's clear, it's pedestrian crossing, not going to change and there's a pedestrian there, back to the long time. Again, being very aware of this road and the changing weather conditions we've got now. So much more slippery. And this is more about the other road users rather than me, because if they break suddenly, they can slide into each other. So mirrors position, but they go out again in the mirrors, going mindful of the slipperiness. Watching that lorry up there, I'm just going to hold me position here and just ease back over, because there's no benefit being in front of that lorry anymore. There's brake lights on two cars. And again, just making sure that orange car doesn't seem to know I'm there. See, now he does. So at that point, I didn't really want to go past him because he's only focusing on the one in front. And that will happen in nearly every single drive you do. Um, see ya. Yeah. Almost every one of them. Again, catching the vehicle in front. And there's the indicator. It could be just turning. I'm going to turn the tones off. It's a solid white line, so I need him to come to a rest. In fact, he's done something that's just as good as I can go through without straddling the solid white line. Which means I'm still within the law. He had pulled over. Uh, but rule 129 in the highway code says I must not cross, overtake or cross and straddle a solid white line or centre road nearest me unless stationary vehicles, horse rider travelling at 10 mile an hour or less, cyclists travelling at 10 mile an hour or less or a road maintenance vehicle with a keep white sign displayed on the back, traveling at 10 mile an hour less. Or if I'm turning into a side road or access, accessing a property. Other than that, I cannot overtake on uh, solid white lines. So coming down the hill here, I'm aware again of the traffic lights there, just to see them over the top. Got an indicator, is it turning into the junction? Watching the one coming out here, he stopped. There's a gap through there, I think the gear as well, mirrors and back out. And up to the next one. So again, all we're going to do is catch the next one or get in his mirrors and see what he does. Back on the long time, so they have more effect from distance. And I'm just moving into P3, just getting in his mirrors and now into P4. So I'm asking the question, I can't force him out of the way. I can ask him to move. At the moment, there's no response on this vehicle. And I don't want to get any closer because of the wet road and the sudden reaction he gives might be not enough time for me. So I've always got to have enough time to break. So he's gone in a bit there. Again. Is he aware of me? What do you think, Senior? Not entirely sure. No, don't look here. If yeah, in doubt, there he is. Yeah. Okay. If in doubt, again, assume he's not aware of you. Going ahead at the roundabout, again looking at path of least resistance, which is going to take the near side lane. Making sure I've got reactions, I'm happy. Change the gear there, we'll watch for the traffic coming out on the near side. The lorry's going to take a bit of time to clear there, so I'm not going to come belting around there when I know there's a lorry trying to get out of my way. Again, just sitting on the P4 position, just moving out into the mirrors. There's the brake lights, there's the position change. Now we're going to move towards oncoming traffic, but again, caution because of this situation. So again, the, the main thing there is we've always got that place in front to be able to stop. So we're not going to come belting down there again here, another change of tones. Caution on the corner, back in again. And we'll be turning right at the roundabout and uh, ending that demo from there. So coming out to a roundabout, we're going to take the third exit of three. So I'm watching for the lane of least resistance. So if I put a signal on, I've got the lane of least resistance. There's no one there, so I'm going to actually take the near side. I've got braking on the silver, I'm happy with that, off the brake, into my gear. So maintaining system by trying not to break gear together. Near side mirror check. We'll come round the corner, watch there's no one following. And I'm gonna stand down. So I'm just gonna activate 999. Hold it for
for a second, that just turns that one off. 